It can be as straightforward as focusing on our breath for a few minutes each day, to listening to tuning frequency music. What is the power of the mind? And how can we learn to use it to transform the way we think to shape our future? Can our thoughts, beliefs, and brain's adaptability converge to alter our physical and emotional well-being, experiences, and change realities? For decades, we've been told by modern science that the brain that you have at birth is going to be very similar to the brain you have when you die at a certain age. It stops building itself new brain cells once it reaches maturity of adulthood. And if you have an issue or an injury in your brain, the damages become permanent. And we've believed it. Up until now. According to scientist and author Joe Dispenza, he firmly believes in the healing power of the mind. Furthermore, as described by Tor Nora Tranders, a Danish author of popular science, the subconscious mind is 1,000 times more powerful than the conscious mind. The subconscious mind can, in fact, process a much larger amount of information compared to the conscious mind, which can only handle a limited amount of data at a time. It is responsible for automatic processes, instincts, and deep-seated emotions. It operates continuously, even when we are asleep, and it controls automatic functions like breathing, digestion, and heart rate. So, what prompts our subconscious mind to perform these so-called miracles? The answer lies in what is known as neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity and the subconscious mind are two distinct but interconnected concepts within the field of neuroscience and psychology. Neuroplasticity refers to the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections throughout life. This ability allows the neurons, nerve cells in the brain, to compensate for injury and disease and to adjust their activities in response to new situations or changes in their environment. Neuroplasticity occurs at various levels, ranging from cellular changes due to learning to large-scale cortical remapping in response to injury. The process involves changes such as the strengthening or weakening of synapses, the points of communication between neurons, the growth of new neurons, neurogenesis, or the formation of new pathways. The subconscious mind, on the other hand, refers to the part of our mind that is not in focal awareness. It is the storehouse of our attitudes, values, beliefs, and past experiences. It's the part of our cognition that operates under the level of conscious awareness and influences our behaviors and reactions without our voluntary control. The subconscious mind is thought to have a powerful influence over our actions, emotions, and life experiences. Let's now take a closer look at the relation between the two. Neuroplasticity enables the subconscious mind to influence behavior by strengthening certain neural pathways. For example, if someone has a subconscious belief that they are not good at public speaking, their brain may have wired itself to respond to public speaking situations with anxiety. This is due to neural pathways that have been strengthened through past experiences or thoughts which now operate automatically. Habits, whether they are thoughts or behaviors, are formed through the repetition of actions. These repeated actions create well-worn pathways in our brains, making it easier to perform these actions without conscious thought. Thus, our subconscious habits are underpinned by the neuroplastic changes in our brain. Understanding neuroplasticity gives us insights into how we can change subconscious patterns. Therapeutic approaches, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, mindfulness, or hypnotherapy can be used to alter maladaptive subconscious behaviors. By actively engaging in new learning experiences and thought patterns, we can rewire the brain and change the subconscious mind's influence on our behavior. The subconscious mind also stores emotional memories and through neuroplasticity, these emotional responses can become triggered by certain cues in the environment without our conscious awareness. This can affect our emotional and physical health. Conversely, the content of the subconscious mind can influence how neuroplasticity takes place. The expectations, beliefs, and emotions that reside in the subconscious can shape the way we learn and adapt, potentially facilitating or hindering the plastic changes in the brain. Neuroplasticity introduces the radical concept that our brains can change continuously throughout our lives. It refers to the brain's astonishing ability to reorganize itself, altering its structure and the function of its neurons in response to our environment, our experiences, and even our thoughts. This is the brain's beautiful secret. It's not a rigid organ, but a dynamic, evolving entity that can be shaped and enhanced over time. The history of neuroplasticity is as fascinating as its implications. 
In the 1800s, German physiologist Friedrich Goltz conducted a hemispherectomy on a dog, revealing that even with half its brain removed, the dog could function almost normally. Fast forward to modern times, neuroscientist John Freeman observed individuals thriving in academics and sports despite similar brain surgeries. These observations are startling. While a half-functional device becomes inoperative, a half-brain can adapt, compensating for its losses through neuroplasticity. Research has also documented the effects of mindfulness and meditation on reducing chronic pain, depression, and anxiety. The mechanisms behind such changes are linked to the brain's neuroplasticity, allowing individuals to reframe their relationship with pain and emotional distress, leading to significant improvements in their quality of life. These documented cases serve as testament to the notion that our mental states can significantly influence our physical reality. By harnessing the principles of neuroplasticity, individuals have transformed their thinking, restructured their neural pathways, and rewritten their life stories. These narratives are not anomalies, but rather powerful examples of what becomes possible when we understand and apply the principles of the brain's inherent adaptability. As we venture deeper into the mind's landscape, we discover it's not an isolated entity, as depicted by modern science, but a dynamic ecosystem, continuously interacting with a myriad of external influences. The media we consume, the lifestyles we lead, and the environment we inhabit all have profound impacts on the neural pathways we sculpt within our brains. The media, be it news, social platforms, or entertainment, acts as a potent architect of our cognitive framework. What we watch and listen to can shape our beliefs, influence our emotions, and even alter our stress and happiness levels. The phenomenon is not just psychological, it's physiological. When engrossed in a compelling film or a gripping piece of music, our brain waves synchronize with the rhythms and narratives presented, forging new neural circuits. This is neuroplasticity in real time, the brain's malleable nature responding to the virtual stimuli of our created worlds. Our lifestyle choices, such as diet, physical activity, and sleep patterns, also play a pivotal role in brain health and function. Foods rich in antioxidants, like blueberries, or those containing omega-3 fatty acids, have been shown to foster cognitive function and memory. Exercise, particularly activities that demand coordination and rhythm, sparks the release of neurotrophic factors, chemicals that support neuron growth and connectivity. Moreover, our environment, the air we breathe, the spaces we occupy, and the company we keep can either nourish or deplete our mental acuity. Pollution has been linked to diminished cognitive abilities, while nature exposure is often associated with increased mental clarity and creativity. Social interactions, the exchange of ideas and emotions, not only enrich our lives but can also enhance cognitive resilience. Our brains, however, are not passive recipients of these myriad influences. Through the lens of neuroplasticity, we understand that we can actively engage with and select our environmental inputs. By choosing what we expose ourselves to, we can steer the course of our mental evolution. In essence, every external factor is a brushstroke on the canvas of our minds. As we become more conscious of these influences, we equip ourselves with the knowledge to make choices that align with our desired mental landscapes. Through this awareness, we can shape an environment that fosters growth, nurtures well-being, and amplifies the transformative power of the mind. So, what catalyzes this cerebral transformation? Focused attention, the intensity of thought, immersive experiences, imitation, and visualization. These are the fuels for the brain's plasticity. They allow us to rewire our neural pathways, to cultivate new patterns of thought, and to overcome previously insurmountable obstacles. As we consider the limitless potential of the mind, anthropologist Greg Downey cautions against overzealous interpretations of neuroplasticity. Yes, our enthusiasm must be tempered with the discipline of science, yet it is this very zeal that pushes us to explore the uncharted territories of human capability. We stand at the frontier of understanding, not just what the brain has been, but more importantly, what it could become. Harnessing the full potential of the power of the mind begins with simple, practical steps. Everyday actions can become powerful exercises in mental transformation when we apply mindfulness and meditation to our routines. Mindfulness can be practiced anywhere, at work, while eating, or during a conversation. It involves observing our thoughts and feelings without judgment and brings an awareness that helps break the cycle of automatic, habitual reactions. 
It's like training a muscle. The more we use it, the stronger it becomes. Meditation complements mindfulness by providing a structured way to calm the mind. It can be as straightforward as focusing on our breath for a few minutes each day to listening to tuning frequency music. This focus builds the brain's ability to concentrate and resist distractions, much like how lifting weights builds muscle. To leverage neuroplasticity, we can introduce new challenges to our daily lives. Learning a new language, picking up a musical instrument, or even engaging in brain training games can stimulate the brain to form new connections. The key is to keep the challenges at the right level. Not too easy, but not so difficult that they become discouraging. Finally, consistency is crucial. Just as we wouldn't expect to get fit with just one trip to the gym, we can't expect to rewire our brains with sporadic effort. Regular practice is what solidifies these new neural pathways. So choose a practice and stick with it and watch as your brain and your life transforms. The journey to mastering the mind's potential draws wisdom from various spheres, spiritual, philosophical, and scientific. Let's consider the insights of contemporary thought leaders like Dr. Joe Dispenza and Eckhart Tolle, alongside those of cognitive neuroscientists like Dr. Caroline Leaf. Dr. Joe Dispenza combines the fields of neuroscience, epigenetics, and quantum physics to demonstrate how we can use the brain's neuroplasticity to our advantage. He emphasizes the role of meditation in initiating positive changes in our mental and physical health. His teachings revolve around the idea that focused and intentional thought can lead to profound changes in brain circuitry, which can translate into transformative outcomes in our lives. Eckhart Tolle, known for his work on consciousness and mindfulness, teaches the power of the present moment. His principles echo the sentiment that being fully present and in the now is a vital practice for mental well-being. Tolle's approach suggests that a mind unburdened by past regrets and future anxieties is a mind that can grow and thrive. These modern teachers and scientists reinforce the message that our mental states are not fixed. We have the power to influence our mental landscapes through dedicated practice. Whether it's through meditation, mindfulness, or cognitive workouts, we can forge new neural pathways that lead to resilience, happiness, and an empowered sense of self.